Well, how many of you have been in a bunker and find yourself with one of these lies, what we commonly refer to as a fried egg? Um, I'm going to demonstrate for you guys how to get out of a fried egg, and I'm going to use the XE1 wedge to do so. Check it out. So what we're going to want to do is when you step up to a fried egg lie, usually buried in the face of a bunker, um, you want to set yourself, your shoulders to the slope of the hill. Just, just about anything. You know, obviously when it's a down slope, you want to do that. When it's an up slope, you want to set them there as well. Biggest thing with a buried lie, you're going, to get the, you're going to want to try to get the ball as close to the middle of your stance as possible so that you can hit it, even though your shoulders are set, with a descending blow, catch the, ball, catch the, the sand first behind the ball, and you're just going to pop it out. You don't need a big swing for this shot. That's the one thing that people think. This is a half-buried lie. This isn't gone completely underground. So with the ball sitting this like this, it's going to come out quite nicely. With the XE1 wedge and the Auto Glide Sole technology, it's going to be a lot easier to get this lie, to get this lie and ball propelled out towards the, towards the flag stick. So let's give it a shot here, all right? So like I said before, weight towards the left, set your shoulders to the, to the slope of the hill as best you can. Pretty neutral with, um, with where this kid, you don't want it too far forward, you don't want it back, pretty neutral with, your, with where your, your hands are to dress. And, and a couple inches behind the ball and let it pop out. Try it again. Don't need a big swing. I'm still not taking a big swing. Pretty easy with the XE1 wedge with the Auto Glide Sole technology. Very cool.